What is going on, guys? DBG here. And today, lads, oh my god, this set is a joke. It is a joke. I've glanced through these cards. What is going We're in endgame right now. We are in endgame now. But I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain a little bit later. First of all, what I think is close to a guarantee is that there is going to be some form of... This is going to have some form of super pack element to it. I think it's going to have some form of super pack element. As well as that, I think that... Um, because there's no budget cards. There has to be budget cards. There is no way. There is absolutely no way that... Um, like, there is not going to be any way that there's no way of pulling an Amazon. I don't know why I'm struggling to speak. But yeah, that's what's going to be the case. Um, also... I reckon that um, we're going to see a 20 box pack where you can get pick one of these guaranteed Galaxy Opals. I would predict that. But anyway, first, pet it. 84 speed, 84 acceleration, 93 three ball. Drew Eubanks release. I don't know, even know what that is. Basic dribble style. Um, not, a good, not a great defender. He's not awful. Like, I wish they'd just given him the base... Or the Session 14 that he used to have. Which is the um, Clay Capella release. But um, maybe Drew Eubanks is uh, Session 14. But uh, not a great card to be honest. Not terrible. And not unusably bad. Not good either. Then we got Kuzi. Kuzi. He'll, he actually will dunk if he's open. 98 speed, 98 acceleration, 95 three ball. 85 interior. Agent 3 amped. Clamp Breaker, Dimer, Quick First Step, Glove, all the other uh, gold badges. Jaden McDaniels release. I don't know what that is, what that's like. For, I hate the Fournier upper though. Um, pro Leaner, Jad Dribble Star, um, normal size of Pro Escape. I mean, we're probably looking at like a worse John Stockton. Got a longer wingspan though. Kuzi plus 226. Like 40 to win dunk. Um... Yeah, I'd probably say worse Stockton. That's probably the best way I would describe him is he's a slightly worse John Stockton because Stockton's just got a better, is a better shooter and will dribble the ball a bit better. But, um, Kuzi's fine. Kuzi's fine. Like, if you just want to use Kuzi, it's all right. JoJo has got Paul George, Cam Reddish. Cam Reddish upper is way better than PG upper. Like, I'll take Paul George, Cam Reddish over Paul George, Paul George. Um, because Tiny, I much prefer Tiny Archibald at least to PG's. Pro dribble style is very iffy. Um, not going to dunk at all. 54 interior. Wait a minute. JoJo was always iconic for one reason. And one reason only in 2K. He was a point guard with stupidly high interior defense. So he had unbelievably high interior defense in this game. JoJo White in NBA 2K20. 94 interior defense. NBA 2K22. Jojo White. 70 interior. On a day one ruby card. 2K23. They gave him 54 interior. And they gave him 54 interior. Why is it that a guy that had been known as a point guard. Who with unbelievable interior. Now has interior of 54. And a 40 block. I don't get it. I don't get it like. Did they screw up in the past or are they screwing up now? Did they screw up in the past by making JoJo White? I need to look this up. I need to look this up. Um, JoJo White post defense. I need to look this up. Um, or just JoJo White defense. Because they either screwed up for years in the past. For three years in a row, they either screwed up badly... Or they, um, I can't find anything about it. Or they're screwing up now. One or the other. Either way, this card sucks. Jojo White legitimately sucks. Bailey Hell, 87 speed. Bailey Hell's perfect stats. Or even 83 ball, but if he has a good release, that doesn't matter. Can't get bully, which is a little bit annoying. But, Clamp Breaker, Quick First Step, Glove, Interceptor. Holy crap, he can play defense. He has a good player build. He's got, he's basically DeRozan. Oh crap, he's a DeRozan on Quick. No, he's better than DeRozan. He's really good. Especially because he's probably going to be 25k. 
He's really freaking good. Like, I reckon that this set is going to push a lot of pink diamonds down, like 25, 30k. And Wayne Embry. Jesus Christ. Look what they've done to Wayne Embry. Delo's release is awful. I don't know. Delo's release on quick might be all right. Jordan dribble style. If you can hit with this guy in the corner with his player build, this 7 3 wingspan, this is like one, this could be one of like the best affordable power forwards in the game. Like, if you can, uh, if you, like, <laughs> Sorry, not the cough. Um, but like, I'm just gonna tweet that we're really about to be out here running and in, running entire teams, teams of dudes from the sixties. I love it. I love it. I absolutely, absolutely love that. Sorry. I do apologize for any of the pausing. I'm uh, in not a good way right now. I am quite sick. And yeah. Uh, Wayne Emery. If you could get that deal over release down, it's one of the top seven or eight power forwards in the game. And he has hot zones in the corners as well. Richie Guerin. 93 speed, 93 acceleration. 6 4 2 guy, so a little bit small. Not great defense. Has most of the bads you need. Um, comes with range. Fournier, Mitchell Upper is nice though. Fournier base is okay. I wouldn't be that high on it. I'm just also not low on it. Trey Dribble Stop, Pro 2 Leaner. Yeah, he's not great, is he? Yeah, he's not great compared to the other guys. Cincy Powell, 96 speed, 96 acceleration. Bully Masher, Posterizer. Like, look, he's got, he's got like 80. He's 90 plus in every stat that matters. Or 88 plus, whatever. Anchor Glove Menace, every defensive badge. Clamp breaker, quick first step. Can't hold range, but who gives a damn? Play him with power forward or small forward. Look on very quick. I don't I don't know how good Luka Doncic is going to be on very quick. Chris Paul, dribble style. Which they gave to Kazi. That's, that's meant to be the best dribble style in the game. They gave to Kazi and Terry. Dame behind the back, which is really good. I don't know what the John Wall escape is. But it's what they gave to Tim Thomas, so it must be good. Normal leader. Nah, no, Cincy Pell's that guy. Cincy Pell's really that guy. So, so far, Bailey Howe, Cincy Pell. They're, they're going to be a lot of people's too small forwards. We had Donnell, 95 speed, 95 salvage, 92 three ball, 80 driving dunk. Limitless range. Great, de unbelievable defense. Clamp breaker, quick first step, hyper drive, handle some dice, floor general, unpluckable. A clamps, glove, menace, challenger. He doesn't have anchor, which is a little bit of a negative, but he's 636 at wingspan with D-Rose on quick. So he's going to be a three-hunting D-Rose. So he's the Westbrook size, which is nice. The uh, uh, Dodge Escape's terrible. Um, Trey behind the back, I don't like at all. Um, he's basically going to be Derrick Rose. A way a way Derrick Rose, but way better on defense, but he can like three-hunt better than D-Rose can. I wouldn't go be that high on Donal, but he's good. He's not like absolutely god tier, but he's good. So 83 three-ball, 86 speed, 84 acceleration, 94 interior. 83 lateral, 87 steel. He's still a 6'9 power forward. So that's not actually bad. Because he's got like every defensive badge you need. And every shooting badge. So forget that 83 three ball. You're not going to dribble with him. So it doesn't really matter. Clamps, glove, and deceptor. Literally every defensive badge. You can't give him clamp breaker. Okay, so we just don't put him on the ball. Don't give him the ball. Um. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. From what I've heard, the LeBron escape is good. I don't know much about it. From what I've heard, it's good. Um, he's O'Shea Brissett on quick. Like what everyone says is that O'Shea Brissett is the single best release in the game. Duncan uppers might kind of ruin it or make make it difficult to contest. But this is, as far as I'm aware, the best team in the game. Or the best, like, the best release in the game. I don't know much about O'Shea, but i hearing Splash talk about it. Like, it seems to be the best. So then with Dolph, 93 ball... Like Dolph again, perfect stats. Bully, back down Punisher. Every defense badge that matters in Glove. He can't hold Glover Challenger. Um, no Clamp Breaker, but he does come at limitless range. Coos on quick. Holy crap. And John Collins' upper is better than Coos' upper. In my opinion. 
Holy crap. He can't dribble. He's 6'8 this year. I think he was 6... Was he on 6'7 last year? Either way. We might have number one popper. Like, we might have one of the best power forwards in this game. As far as just pure shooting goes. Like, if you need your power forward just to play a bit of defense or shoot, we might have the best in the game. That is the level of this guy. Like, we might have the best power forward in the game as a popper. Or a Nedelicki. Or Cincy Powell. Or Bailey Hell. If you just want them to shoot the ball. Then we got Kazi. 93 speed, 93 acceleration. Um, Bully, fast switch, fearless range, your posterizer. Comes with range. Can't hold agent three. Ankle breaker, clamp breaker, hyper drive, quick first step. Um, how many guys are getting quick first step and clamp breaker Hall of Fame? Every defense badger in gold, which is good. 95 driving dunk. Lamello on quick, CP3 dribble stop. I don't know what the D-Lo size up is. I'm sorry, the, the Iron Fox size up is, but they've given it to Terry as well. And they've given that to Terry as well, which is nuts. Oh my god. Like, Kazi might be that guy. He doesn't hold Agent 3, so maybe not, but holy crap, Kazi's going to be good. Mitchell Cross, Dane behind the back. Kazi's going to be freaking elite, lads. He's going to be elite. And then we got Terry Dishinger. Again, perfect stats. Limitless range. Can't hold anchor, but he is 6'7. Gets clamps and challenger. It's quick first step and clamp breaker hall of fame. Agent three, catch and shoot, claymore, corner specialist, midi magician, limitless range. Chris Paul dribble style, the Aaron, John Wall escape. Dame behind the back. Rudy Gay on quick might be my best might be the best release in the game for me. I'm such a fan, big fan of Rudy Gay's release. That he might it might be the best release in the game for me personally. Normal leaner. Perfect dunk packages. Holy crap. He's got bully, limitless takeoff poster eyes. He can play in the post. Holy crap. Like, Terry Dishinger. What a player. Then we got Mikan. Oh my god, they gave George Mikan, Devin Booker, John Collins. Sure, he can't dribble, but he's an 83 three ball. So, one of the best uh, defense stats in the game, or shooting badge in the game, sorry. He just can't hold range. I mean, he's fine. I, was, I thought I was going to be higher on Mike than I am, but if you want to run him as like a Dwight Howard-esque player, he, he's probably better than Dwight because that release is a lot better than Dwight's. He's probably better than Dwight Howard. Like, yeah, that's probably what I would say he is. He's probably a better Dwight Howard. You know, his block rate is not as good. He does have like anchor box at beast, all of these badges. Good rebounding. What's his vertical? Like vertical at 91. Yeah, that's probably the player that I would compare him most to is Dwight and they have the exact same total stats which is nuts but mike has two as plus 48 stats that don't matter and plus 41 here whereas does the hand stat matter because i'm like if hands matters then george mike might really suck but also i was saying tans was one of them's in opal um, it all really depends on the price when it comes to Mike and he's gonna be good I just don't know about the price so for these cards right here and um, you've got probably the two of the three best two guards in the game in Terry Dishinger and Kazi Russell you've got probably the two best power forwards in the game in Dolph and Nedelicki depending on what way you want to run and um, we've also got two of the best small forwards in the game in Bailey Howe and Cincinnati's pal so and in Wayne Embry's a freaking beast Jojo's not very good Bob Cousy's all right Um, Garen's all right but um this is by far the best drop we've had this year. By far the best. 